Let's solve this application. Keith Boyle invested some money at 3% simple interest and 6,000 more than that amount at 4.5% simple interest. After one year, his total interest from the two accounts was $870. How much did he invest at each rate? Now first we want to recognize this as an interest problem. So let's write down the formula I equal PRT. Now let's begin to fill in the information into this table. We know that a certain amount is invested at 3%. Let's let X represent that amount. We also know that 6,000 more than that amount was invested at 4.5%. So that rate, in its working decimal form, is a .045. And 6,000 more than the previous amount is x plus 6,000. Each of these were invested for a time period of one year. And via our formula, we know that interest comes from principal times rate times time. So we can fill in the interest column by multiplying across the table. X times 0.03 times 1, let's write as 0.03X. X plus 6,000 times 0 0.045 times 1, let's write that as a 0 0.045 times X plus 6,000. And together, these two interest amounts total the $870. Our equation then comes from this last column where we say that the total of these amounts, 0.03x plus 0 0.045 times x plus 6,000 is equal to $870. That's the hard part. Now let's solve the equation. This one has decimals in it. So let's try to multiply through by something that will get rid of those decimals. As we look through here, the point zero four five has three decimal places. And so let's multiply through by 1,000 to move that decimal point over and make that a whole number. So let's take 1,000 times each term in this equation. 1,000 times the point zero three x plus 1,000 times the point zero four five times x plus 6,000 is equal to, and don't forget this side, 1,000 times 870. Multiplying by 1,000, we'll move this decimal point three places, making this a 30x plus 1,000 times the point zero four five moving that decimal point three places, becomes 45. And then we take that product times the third piece. So 45 times then the quantity x plus 6,000 is equal to 870 with three zeros or 870,000. Let's continue to solve 30x plus Distributing that 45 through, that becomes a 45x plus 45 times 6,000 is 270,000. 870,000 is still over here on the right-hand side. Combining like terms on the left, 30 and that 45 gives 75x. And let's go ahead and subtract the 270,000 over to the right at this time, giving us a 600,000. As a last step of this equation, divide through by 75 to get x is equal to $8,000. Now let's make sure that we've answered the question that's asked. And the question is, how much did he invest at each rate? We've solved for x. X represented our amount invested at 3%. And so 8,000 is invested at 3%. And our second amount is X plus 6,000, or 8,000 
plus 6,000 is 14,000 at 4.5%. 8,000 at 3%, 14,000 at 4.5%.